G'day guys, how are we going? Hope you're doing fine. Today we're back with the Talking Sport Podcast and I'm here with Josh. Say hello mate. Hello everybody and today we're going to be reviewing the third T20 between England and Australia. Played at the Rose Bowl. Australia won the toss for the third time this series. Unbelievable stuff. We chose to bowl and ended up winning by five wickets with three bowls left. Um, yeah, it was a good win by the boys and I'll get Kissa to explain our ins and outs and how we won. Thank you very much Josh. So the ins for Australia, very interesting. Wade brought in. That is perfect. That is a great call from the Australian selectors. Hazelwood in. I can see why they did that. And also Mitch Marsh in. Even though I don't like him, I can see why they did. Outs for Australia. Warner. Fair enough. He has been playing a bit dodgy. They might want to rest him. Uh, Carey also out. That's a great call. And Cummins out. They want to, might want to rest him. Uh, yeah, I totally agree with those. Hazelwood's an underrated T20 bowler. I reckon Mitch Marsh was a good decision to bring in, although Kizza hates him. And, um, yeah. yeah, Carey to get out and Matthew Wade to get in, that was probably the best decision of the lot. Matthew Wade, although he only got 14 runs, showed a lot in his innings and did well keeping. But the reason we won was because of our bowling. Yeah. We kept England down to 145 for six wickets. And every bowler played their part, each of them getting a wicket and Zampa getting two. So... Oh. A- Agar got one, Richardson, Hazelwood and Stark as well. But Stark probably being the best one because he only went for five runs and over. Yeah, bloody oath. All the bowlers did their job. That's a great sign going into the ODIs. That's really good from our bowlers. Like, that's that's awesome. That's what we need to do. And that's that's a real team that we're showing we are uh, by our bowlers, you know. Uh, Stark was so good. He was really good. Um, and also Hazelwood. Hazelwood bowled really well. I'm not going to lie. He bowled super well. Bounces at their heads. Really good bumpers. Yorkers, really good bowling. Um, yeah, we kept England pretty quiet. They only had one standout batsman this time. That was Johnny Bairstow, Barana. surprisingly. <laughs> getting 55 <laughs> of 44. Um, yeah, obviously being the wiki keeper for them. Agar ended up getting him out. But um, yeah, the only other... Three batsmen to get over 10 runs were Moeen Ali acting as the captain for England. Yep. He got 23. Joe Denley getting 29. And Dald Milan getting 21. Mm. So we really just kept everybody low on runs, which was good. Before, there was usually two yeah. really outstanding players, usually Dald Milan and Josh Butler. But, um, yeah, uh, obviously Josh Butler's out the side and we kept Dald Milan at 21, which was good. But, um, yeah, it wasn't... There wasn't too many highlights with England's batting. Uh, there wasn't much to say. It, it just wasn't really smart batting. Yeah, I think Although agree with that. we bowled really well, it, it just wasn't smart. Home ground um, couldn't really take that to advantage and only scored 145 in a T20. It's a bit, bit lackluster. Yeah. 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 But um, can't take anything away from the Australian bowlers. They bowled really well. Yeah. And our batsman batted really well, and I'll get Kizzer to explain that. Cheers, Josh. So, Finch, or the standouts, Finch got 39, Stornis got 26, and Mitchell Marsh, what the bloody hell's going on? He got 39 and brought us the victory. Like, that's really good. We, a bit like England, we had the stand, standout players and then a couple of rubbish players, like uh, Glenn Maxwell didn't do too good, Steve Smith did really bad, Ashton Agar did not too bad. But I think we did much better than England. Yeah, um, Steve Smith played the whole series. And, what, a cumulative score, I reckon, only 50. So, yeah. It, and he was batting high up the order in the other games. This game, we brought him down a bit to number five. But I don't think he was the right call for the T20s. I reckon someone like Mitchell Marsh could have taken his place earlier. Mm. But um, I'm yeah, not an okay. Australian selector. I don't have the eye of them. But, um, yeah, good to see that Finchy, Marsh, Stoyness did what they had to do. And Agar also getting 16 not out helped a bit as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, England bowled pretty shocking except for Adil Rashid. And I'll get Kizza to talk about their bowlers. Uh, cheers, mate. So their best bowlers were probably Mark Wood, Rashid, and also Curran, and that's that's about it for England. Archer got smashed, which I love to watch. Uh, he got absolutely pumped out of the stadium by bloody Matthew Wade, the bloody legend. 
you know, that's why you're bringing him. He might have got 14, not too good. But if he got a hold of that match, it would have been over by, like, the 16th over. He was playing, yep. like, oh, he was playing unreal. Yeah, I totally agree. And England had um, no answers to their bowling, really. They bowled yep. seven different um, bowlers, which just shows uh, they, they weren't quite they were confused. ready with their bowling. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They didn't know what to do. Yeah. Uh, Chris Jordan bowled three, and they even bowled Joe Denley and over, Moeen Ali. Yeah. And, um, yeah, Archer only bowled three. Like, it was just crazy yeah. how Australia eliminated Archer from the game. Yeah, that's great. But, um, that's really good. Yeah. And Australia ended up winning the game without having to get Mitchell Marsh to bat, uh, Mitchell Stark, I should say, to bat. But, um, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, really good team effort. Uh, from the boys, yeah. uh, we showed quite we showed quite a bit. We didn't show a lot because we probably would have only scored one fifty, but we showed a lot with our bowling, our fielding, and we yeah. showed a lot with our inclusions to the team. Of course, with Matthew Wade, Mitchell Marsh. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'll get um Kizu to explain the final things and rolls out with the outro. Cheers, mate. I want one more thing. I want to say England's fielding was shocking. It was so bad. They got so many drop catches. Just wasn't their day in the field and. That's all we needed to win the game, really. That's that's cricket. If a team doesn't feel well, like, 99% of the time, the other team's going to win. But that's just cricket. But, yeah. Thank you, Josh, for joining me uh, on the Talking Sport Podcast. Right, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you, everybody.